Good morning. The, um, I changed some of the settings here, so just kind of mess around with that. How's it going? Oh God, as your infinite love is ever streaming in blessings on us, oh let our souls be ever breathing forth love to you. Today and always. Morning. Good morning. Hi, Faith. Hi, Joe. Um, oh, yeah. But I think you guys probably did see the, um, the peace challenge. It's it's very simple. It's all it is. It's, it's we're encouraging you to invite a friend to come join us and pray the daily rosary for the month of October. And um, so there's a link. You put in your intention for the 30 days. We're going to pray for you in your intention. And then the next 30 days in November, we're going to say a prayer of Thanksgiving um, for our answer intention. Oh, it's the Archangel's uh, feast days today. So pray for us. And then we have Father, Father Tran is joining us, and he really has an incredible story. Um, especially about his parents. I read the most beautiful thing that they said, um, what they would always say to him, he didn't have much. Um, they'd always say, we have God, so we have everything. So I thought it was really beautiful. And you know what? His parents are right. Okay, there he is. Our prayer intentions today are from Rosario. Clarity to find God in the everyday moments. Amen. For all of us. Yes, that's a great intention. Give us the clarity to find God in the everyday moments. And from Leah, prayers for my complete healing from cancer. And then from Lauren, prayers for my nephew Thomas. He's been in the NICU for 40 days since birth and is so close to coming home. Praying for my sister and brother-in-law as they continue to persevere in bringing their son home. There he is. Perfect. All right. Oh, awesome. Scout Penny. <laughs> People for answered prayers. Um, I think he's joining us. Oh. He says I'm able to join. I don't know. That's weird. There he is. Let's try again. Let us ask for the gift of pure love that God's will may be done in us and through us today. Hi, Father. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? I am doing great. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well today and praying for all of your intentions. I see a lot of intentions pouring in already. and Yeah. Uh, I'm... I really like that. Uh, I don't know how I got invited to this ministry. It was one of my many friends, but it was. Uh, it's been special seeing all of the prayers that you all do every single um, morning together, and it's an amazing ministry. Yeah, it, it, it's thanks be to God. They're really everybody. It's such a gift, and um, it really does feel like the uh, virtual communion of saints in a way. <laughs> you know, yeah. so yeah. Um, it's been really nice, especially through the pandemic when a lot of us are at home have to isolate or whatnot. So, um, so thank you for joining us. Um, so, uh, anything you want to pray for before we start? Uh, yes, actually I would like to pray, uh, for, so number one, I would love mm -hmm. to pray for my nephews, uh, you know, as priests, uh, our nephews and nieces are, are, uh, basically our kids. And uh, it's great because today is their namesake. Uh, I've got two nephews. One is uh, Michael and one is Gabriel. So uh, <laughs> special prayers for them today. Four years old and four weeks old. And, Did they uh, plan that all... too? Because it's the yeah. feast stage. Seven. Okay. Yeah. Right. Beautiful. But after that second pregnancy, I don't know if my sister wants a Raphael. So we're going to have to pray for uh, her to <laughs> soften her heart and we can have a third archangel. So we'll, we'll see. And then uh, also, 
I'd like to pray because uh, I'm going to be a pastor for the first time. I mean, running two churches in like two days, October 1st. So I'd love to pray for my two churches, my church community of St. Louis uh, here in Texas, as well as Our Lady of Light, because I'll be running two churches. So that's, I would love to pray for them and for this new mission I've been called on. Perfect. Perfect. And um, we can start whenever you're ready. Oh, my, uh, uh, I put headphones in, but we can start whenever you're ready. I am ready. Okay. All set. Am I starting or are you starting? Um, oh, I thought, did, did you want to lead today or? <laughs> or yeah, I, no, no, I thought I had the impression that, uh, uh, that you were, you were going. So I was going oh. to see here for five more minutes. Just oh, okay, sorry. Okay. So, uh, okay. So, so I lead, so I do the leading. Yeah, sure. I can okay. lead if you don't, if you don't want to, it's okay. It's up to yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, why, don't, why don't you lead? I'll, okay. uh, I'll follow along. I, I just have a feeling I'm going to mess this up somehow, even though I pray this every <laughs> single day. No, we all so. do. We all do. <laughs> We're human, right? So, yeah. okay. All right. We'll start then. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth. Heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, the holy communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us on into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. We pray for an increase in faith, hope, and love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our forgive sins. Our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven. Especially those, those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. Sorry, I forget. I'm not supposed to speak when you're speaking to. It's actually the technology's gotten better, so it's actually it's okay. Yeah, okay. it's okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the first glorious mystery is the resurrection. Three days after his death, Jesus rises, glorious and immortal. And the fruit of this mystery we pray for is faith. Pray for us, Mary, gate of heaven, that faith in the risen Christ may permeate our lives. Our Father. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who must need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery is the Ascension. Jesus ascends into heaven 40 days after his resurrection. And the fruit of this mystery is hope. Pray for us, Mary, gate of heaven, that we may cling to and live in our hope of God's faithfulness. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who must need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit descends upon Mary and the Apostles. And the fruit of the mystery we pray for is wisdom. Pray for us, Mary, gate of heaven, that the Holy Spirit will fill us with wisdom and power to do God's will. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who must need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery is the Assumption of Mary. 
At the end of her life, Mary is taken body and soul into heaven and is united with her divine son. And the fruit of this mystery is devotion to Mary. Pray for us, Mary, gate of heaven, that we may contemplate Christ with you and in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who must need thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery is crowning our Lady, Queen of Heaven. The fruit of this mystery we pray for is our eternal happiness. Pray for us, Mary, gate of heaven. Lead us to the beatific vision. <laughs> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor vanished children of thee. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, by his only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, is purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant we beseech thee that by meditating on these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. And then do you want to do the St. Michael prayer? St. Michael prayer. Oh, yeah, we can, we can, we can do that. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, humbly O pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by thy you finish that this power time. of God, cast God, into hell, cast Satan into hell, and all Satan and all evil spirits, following who prowl about the, the world seeking the ruin of soul. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank Sorry, you. I panicked to the, yeah, I panicked there. I was like, oh, she's asking me to do the blessing at the end. And oh. then it was the St. Michael's where I was like, oh, oh shoot. Oh, yeah. Oh. You know what? I'm glad you said that, though, because sometimes I forget to ask for the blessing, like, right before we we sign okay. off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, so, well, so, yeah. Okay. So, it caught me by surprise. I was like, oh, shoot. I wasn't ready. <laughs> um, so, um, would you mind sharing with us um, your rosary story or how you – first learned the rosary and maybe how it's become a habit for you now? Yeah, I, uh, okay. I'll, um, I'll give you the short account and, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to bring in my own biological mother into this. She's now passed into the heavenly kingdom, uh, a couple of years ago. It was a fight with cancer, but the greatest, one of the greatest gifts that mom ever gave me was, uh, of course, giving birth to me, <laughs> but she actually, because she had a C, C section she had to choose the date that she would give birth and she chose May the 13th and so Our Lady of Fatima has always been uh, my patron saint 
And so she's been always been extremely, extremely close. And so mm -hmm. our family, I think uh, the rosary has protected uh, generations of Vietnamese people, I'm Vietnamese, generations of Vietnamese Catholics. Uh, but uh, my family in many particular ways, and I think the Virgin Mary is very much responsible for my vocation to the priesthood. And she's protected me in my priesthood. And I, I think that she guides me very much uh, on a daily basis and mm. uh, all of my ministries and the things that I do, the things that I say. And I, I know she's always right next to me. So I don't think it'd be possible without the rosary. I don't, I mean, I just, it's just crazy. And I'm glad I found this ministry because it's, it's amazing that you all do this together. Yeah. It's been such a blessing. And um, I think, my sister and I, we've really realized too the um, the beauty that comes from the fidelity of like always doing it, even especially when you don't want to, because we're just like so human, <laughs> you know. Like there's just yeah, in the midst of like your cute children interrupting yeah. you during the rosary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, you know. We've also we've tried to do the family rosary and. I wouldn't say it's like a peaceful rosary, but um, <laughs> I just think it's important oh, yeah. that they <laughs> they see you do it. Um, so, were, did yeah. your parents? Did they always pray the rosary? Or yeah, uh, yes, always, uh, every mm -hmm. every single day. Uh, if if we if they didn't do the if they weren't able to do the whole rosary with us, they definitely prayed the rosary uh, amongst themselves. And you're right. I mean. It is a little bit distracting when your kids and uh, all this stuff is going on. But I mean, that example, I think, is a big part of why I am a priest, that steadfastness, even in the midst of the craziness of life. Yeah. Um, do you want to share the story of your parents? Because so beautiful. Okay. Yeah. And it, and it kind of does kind of lead into your vocation story, too, I'd say. Right. Okay, uh, I'll give you I'll give you all the uh, the snapshot version of mm -hmm. that as well. But yes, whenever people ask uh, how did you come to be a priest, vocation, I always say it's really the story of my parents and it's the story of the Vietnamese people as a whole. Uh, my dad almost became a priest. He should he would have become a priest, uh, but being in Vietnam at that time and being a seminarian, and he was about two years away from ordination. Uh, unfortunately, in that time period, the uh, communist forces came down from the north, so they put all the priests in prison, all of the seminarians, the sisters, they beat them. They, it, was a, it was a pretty... So my dad was not able to become a priest because of that reason. Uh, he was in prison for three years, and so he was... Long story short, I mean, he was able to escape. He was able to escape from Vietnam on a, on a, on a small boat. He went to Thailand, and then he came to the United States. And he couldn't become a priest here because uh, back then language was very much an issue. So uh, okay. he, so that that's his story. And then my mom's story is basically, I mean, she's she basically had to raise her six brothers and sisters as a fourteen-year-old because uh, she, because of her parents. Her mom basically married an American GI after my uh, grandfather, had, uh, my my biological grandfather, had passed away. So. Her mom married an American GI. They went to Georgia. And my mom, I mean, really crazy story, uh, always in poverty, raising tons of kids mm -hmm. as a 14-year-old. And then the story of my parents meeting was a miraculous story, too, because it was one of those things where they shouldn't have met. He, he lived on in California. She lived in New York. And then my grandmother basically just, when my dad was visiting one one day in Georgia, my grandmother like loved him so much that she made my mom, who was studying in New York, write a letter to him and he like, like she did not want to do it of course and so they started this whole like letter writing thing and anyways just growing up and they got married and growing up and seeing their faith seeing the adversity of the people that we come from the Vietnamese people seeing uh the poverty that we grew up in but you know they it was it was always centered on a very solid foundation that I always made me wonder like, why, how can you not have money and then also be happy? And, yes. and yeah. And then, and then, you know, growing up with your friends who may have had money, but there's, it feels like there's something missing from their lives. It's mm -hmm. always stuck with me and it's, it's not hard to see how a vocation can, can grow from that. So after I graduated from the university of Miami, I entered the seminary and, uh, 
became a priest in 2015, and now I'm six years a priest, and I'm working in uh, the Diocese of Beaumont, Texas, and I'm about to start running two churches. Wow. Age, you're like a, a, a neuroscientist. Yes, yes, I studied neuroscience. I was, I was pre-medicine, so I would have wanted to go to medical school and be a doctor and all of that. Now it's just a fun icebreaker that I studied neuroscience. Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember reading an article about your family and I just thought it was so beautiful because, um, you know, you said that you were raised in, you, you didn't have much as a family, but your parents always said that, um, that you have everything you have God. And they were like continuously talking or sharing that. Yeah, I I think I'm I'm a true believer in the rosary, and I I think that the rosaries that you all are praying, you don't know the effects of it later on because I don't think my parents, uh, thirty years ago, were really thinking that the daily rosary they were praying would result in my vocation, um, their faith, and so it's so you who knows how the prayers that you give uh, today will bear fruit for those tomorrow. Right, it's so true. It's it's like our prayers are never wasted. It's just we can't maybe always see how um, they'll have this impact spiritually, right? Um, I also remember you said, because you were at the um, University of Miami, and um, and that it was hard, you felt almost at times, to connect or talk about the faith. And and now you you kind of devote a lot of that time to helping students or you know um, just being available to them. Yeah, yeah. It's, our world our world needs a lot of prayer, and so yeah. you know a lot of people. I I so long another interesting yeah. fact of life that it, that I studied at the University of Miami. I never thought I'd use that degree for anything again, and. God, funny enough, used that degree to bring me back to the University of Miami as the chaplain there. And it was a very intense experience. It was four amazing, incredible years of priesthood. But it it really is, a, a world needs a lot of prayer because this is a very difficult world to be a young person in. And just the stuff that they grow up with and exposed to and the hardness of heart and uh, the difficulties of faith and so many other difficulties, it just, they're, they're, it's very difficult, uh, really difficult. And even amongst the most Catholic of them, they were having, like, they didn't escape a lot of these kind of trappings of the culture and things too. It's just, it takes, that's why you have to really pray for priests in campus ministry because they're like literally on the edges of evangelization in our culture and in our country. And right. so, yeah, I, I do think it's, something that it was it was a very difficult thing i'm really glad that i did it i think that i was very good for them and, but the reason i'm in texas now is i think you alluded to it is that i'm i'm a i have always had a missionary heart and i've always wanted to go serve somewhere that needed priests and so now i'm in the country and they they really needed <laughs> priests here because i've only been in texas for two months and they've already got me running two churches so it's uh yeah that's the uh so how I mean, um Obviously, I think most important is is to pray for our youth. But any anything else that um, that helps, like especially when you're reaching out to college students and you've worked with them before. Yeah. Oh gosh. There's. I mean, yeah. I could write a whole book on that. On that <laughs> okay, subject. you should. I think that, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what would help this culture? I think that. This world is a world that does not foster heart-to-heart -heart communication anymore. And I think that that's where real evangelization happens is that if you have a position for sometimes for people to hear it, you have to be able to t communicate the truth to them in a way that they're able to receive it and to dialogue with it. And I think that that's really the future. It's, and it's going to be much more, I think a lot of times we think of institutions or systems or ways of doing things, but I do think that the best way that you evangelize is heart to heart, like your heart speaking to individuals. Uh, first of all, the ones you're responsible for in your family, and then uh, and then it's a ripple effect outwards. The people who are your coworkers, the people who are maybe a little bit farther from you in the periphery, and it really does flow into the culture and to the world. So. Yeah, that's what I would just say is that, and that's John Car uh, Cardinal Henry Newman. 
Is that that was I get that from him because that's that's his uh, papal motto: "Cor ad cor loquitur." His heart speaks to heart, and it always informed my campus ministry. And I think that it it really did change a lot of things while I was there at the University of Miami. Just that kind of approach and trying to meet the students in their you know brokenness or whatever their background is, or you know that we know the truth in our faith, but trying to get it to them. That's the real challenge. But once they hear it, like it makes it all worth it when that light turns on. Right. And, and it, it sounds like, I mean, it also seems like you're a, like a profound listener, right? Just giving them a space where they probably feel safe and that they can talk and you're there listening. Yeah. I, I think that that's, that that's probably one of the gifts that the Lord gave me. You know, I don't have a lot of gifts, but maybe that's, that's one of them is that I, you know, like people enjoy a good movie I and or enjoy a good book. For me, people are books. Every single soul has such an amazing story. And so to just sit with somebody and like, really, every single person has years of experience. They have a story to tell. And God really, I mean, it just, it is fascinating to just sit with people and to hear where they've been. And, and so it's, it's, it's really nice to be able to be a part of that story sometimes. And then to tell them the larger story, you know, of salvation and the story of Jesus and his amazing mother and how we're meant for more than just what we can see, touch, hear, and feel. And, and I, and that was like what really, it's what really keeps me going is help, helping people to realize like maybe that little, the little bumps in your story right now, like in the grander story, there's, there's some really good things coming. So. That's right. That's right. You offer hope, right? Yeah. 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 yeah it's, yeah, it just, I think that, and that's, I think that's probably one of the things that it's easy to forget in this culture is that it's, there's more good than bad, you know, yeah. Jesus has saved us and there's a lot more good things going on than the bad, difficult, hurtful, hard things. And I think people, we need to, I mean, that's why they call it the gospel. It's the good news. We need to continuously remind people that there's, there's a lot more good really around us than some of this stuff that's going on. That's right. That's right. And, um, yeah, I think that's also like a, a great place to end for us today to, to really see, see the good and see God and see the beauty and truth and love, like all around us. I mean, really it's, we, we have so many miracles that come to us every day. It's just, are we seeing them, you know? So like, give us the grace to actually see and, and be grateful today um yes yeah see and be grateful yeah um would you mind if we end with a blessing yes Great. in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen amen lord jesus christ we ask especially today for the outpouring of the graces and the fruits of the holy spirit we ask for the intercession of all of the saints and angels but most particularly that of the archangels today we ask that you send their love and their protection upon us to surround us and the difficulties and adversities and challenges that we face to lift us up, to remind us of your love and your grace in our lives and that things will be better and they will be okay that in the long run in the ways that you measure time and that you see things that if we're close to you, it will always turn out all right. We ask that you carry all of our intentions, our prayers, protect our families, our marriages, our culture, protect our priesthoods and protect our sisters and all of the different vocations. May we always know you, love you, and serve you with every beat of our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. Hey, really nice to meet you, and I want you to all know that I'm praying for you. I'll be offering Mass soon, so I'll remember you and the intentions of the Mass. Beautiful. And we'll be praying for you, too, now that you've got two parishes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do please, give me double the prayers. <laughs> double the prayers, please. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's a lot. So definitely yeah. be praying for you. <laughs> it's true. And it's the first time, too. It's the first time I'm running churches, so definitely could use the prayers. Yeah. Well, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. And God bless, God bless. you guys. Okay. Bye, guys. Thanks for having me.